Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the different types of headache and the treatments. The first stop is the most common, and that is tension headache. This is a bilateral headache, which means occurring in both sides of the head. There is normally a known trigger, for example, loud music or a certain perfume or something like this. The headache is a constant type, which means that it doesn't come and go, and the episode would last anywhere from half an hour to five hours. The patient would feel a band-like sensation around the head. The treatment is simply avoiding the triggers and the use of acetaminophen and NSAIDs, like ibuprofen. The second type we have is migraine headache, and this is a unilateral headache, which means occurring in one side of the head. The trigger is either, most of the time, loud sound or very bright light. Most patients experience an aura before having the symptoms, which is basically a weird sensation before the symptoms start. The aura is sometimes auditory, so the patient hears something like cracks, for example, or olfactory, like the patient experiences that they smell something, for example, burned tires, or any other variety of odd sensations. Unlike tension headache, which is constant, migraine is pulsating, so the pain comes and goes in waves. And this can last anywhere from a few hours to a few days. We have two types of treatment, either abortive or preventive. Abortive therapy are the ones that we use during the symptoms to alleviate the symptoms. And this include triptans, NSAIDs, and ergot products. The preventive ones will of course include avoiding the symptoms, TCAs, tupiramate, valporate, and beta blockers. The third type we have is the cluster headache. And this is also unilateral, affecting only one side of the head. And the pain is the absolute worst. The patient would experience an excruciating pain around one of the eyes. It is also referred to sometimes as the suicide headache, because patients sometimes suicide to avoid the pain. For some reason, it is a lot more common in males, and it is associated with symptoms in the eyes and nose, like runny nose and tearing of the eyes. The symptoms would last anywhere from 15 minutes to 3 hours, and the reoccurrence is very high. The treatment is trimetriptan plus 100% oxygen, and we can use calcium channel blockers to prevent the symptoms from occurring again. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following cranial nerves is affected during migraine headache? And the answer is clearly nerve number five, the trigeminal nerve. Alright guys, that's all I have and thank you so much for watching.